Alright then, what's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Madam B and Narek Reviews. Uh, this is one of our um, series that we have featured on this channel where me and Madam B pick a selected movie and we talk about it for 20 minutes. Hello. <laughs> hey la. Ah! Um, I need to stop that. Uh, <laughs> but um, in this one they are a bit different than our typical reviews and break of the base discussion but you know madam b and their reviews is just us talking about reviewing this movie spoilers and all uh and i didn't feel a compulsion at all to review this movie by myself so that's why you didn't get the five minute review but anyways we are talking about the 2018 horror horror film Not. <laughs> the open house that's what it's called the open house okay yeah. um and in this movie, the movie was directed by Matt Angel, and it is about this mother and her son who end up um, moving into this house, an open house. No, um, well, how they came about moving into the house was her husband tragically got killed. They were in another state, and later on in the film, you do find out... Uh, why she couldn't, I guess, keep up with her part of the, I guess, couldn't keep up with the bills. So her best friend suggested that they, you know what, until you get yourself together, why don't um, you and Logan, that's the boy's name, um, Dylan, was it Manet or Manette? I have no the, idea. Uh, the actor, Dylan Manette, Piercy Dalton, and Sheriff Atkins, all, you know, all them up in there. Anyway. See, she suggested they go and stay at her mountain home, big, beautiful mountain home, until they get themselves together. Um, but the only thing is, she is selling the house. Mm -hmm. So she said there is going to be a couple of open houses. And she was like, you know, as long as you're, you know, away from the house, when they do come and do the open house, you know, you'll be fine. Now, um, what I did mention was, and when we was watching this movie, that... Uh, the, what was it? Dylan Minute? Minute. I'm going to say Minute. Uh, Logan, that was his character yeah. in the film. Dylan Minute. Um, he was in the movie last year, uh, 2016, Don't Breathe. You didn't see it yet. Did a fantastic job. But I will admit that the performances in this movie is actually pretty good. Um, and he does, he, I, I don't know what it is about him in like scary movies or whatever, but he, he's, it seems like he's right at home in this movie. And I think he did a fantastic job. I mean, you can't, it's just the movie, the plot that was messed up because nothing made any sense. Um, so should you go and proceed? Or? All right. We're going to go down the uh, list of things, you know, as we do have, you know, a specific order that we do talk about talk about these things in uh first the story it's an interesting story it's the interesting premise and some of the story is pretty interesting uh because of the tragedy of what happens at the beginning of the movie um i mean it's an interesting move it's an interesting premise they move into this open house places like access open house and of course people come in all the time so you don't know who's staying and who's going but the story itself is just not only is it slow it's poorly executed especially in the third act of the movie things and as you're watching the movie things happen that do not make any sense yeah no. you got characters that kind of show up and it's like why are they there why are these people acting in a certain way which is not ever really explained you know everybody acts suspicious for no reason there is one character that acts a certain way, and I called it, but it makes sense for that character to act that way, the thing that she did. So mm -hmm. she, but like all the other characters, uh, it didn't really make any well, sense. Well, from the characters that you've seen, that there were about, what, maybe a handful. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't um, a, like a whole lot. But from that, it was... It was like they were just reading off of cue cards and very slowly. I didn't... Everybody, like, everybody just acted suspicious for no reason. Right. I didn't feel no kind of... And, and let, me get this, let me get this straight. When I say the performances were good, I mean the main two leads. 
they did a great job. Uh, Dylan Minette and Piercy Dalton, they did a great job. Um, but the story is it's a good premise, but it's something we've seen a hundred times over. They, they didn't do anything to innovate it whatsoever. All right. Uh, about the the stuff that's happening. Okay, they move into uh, her sister, I think. Yeah, the sister. Um, did I say best friend or sister? I think you said sister. Okay, yeah, they move into her sister's uh, mansion, and then, like you said, uh, things start to happen. Noises. The pilot uh, thing keeps getting turned on cold every time they're taking a shower. So they have to. She goes down to the basement. And turns it back on, goes back in the shower, turns right back off. No, it's that, like, yes. why would you? Yeah, stuff happened that didn't that was not explained. And this is is a home invasion movie. And I told I was talking to you about it, and I said I want to know why all this stuff is going on. Because mm-hmm. there's literally like the things that were going on. I was just a home invasion, so somebody's. Obviously, going in and out of the house, just messing with them. Yeah, but the thing was... Nothing was explained about it. No, and during that, uh, during one of the open houses, one came and didn't leave. So, I'm like, who who does that in an open house? Unless... Unless somehow he knew that there were people inside, because when you're doing open house, do do the people usually come back and stay in the house? Mm-mm. So either he knew there was somebody inside and wanted to just scare them, but that still doesn't explain why there, there's they, nothing the, there. The, there's no reasoning, no exposition as to why the people act the way they act. There's no exposition as to who the person is that's doing this. Nor is there any exposition as to why. And they never actually reveal the guy, uh, the person. Well, I would, it's a guy. Um, they never actually reveal the who the per, who the guy is, and it's like you're thinking that they're going to explain who the person is. Mm-hmm. They never actually do. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person is doing it. Uh, there are plenty of other movies where they don't explain why they're doing it or who the person is, but the person has character and personality. Mm-hmm. Um, you was watching the movie Hush, and I don't know if you noticed. You know how you notice how the guy was messing with her, mm-hmm. and you notice how he told her what he was going to do. Mm-hmm. That's personality. Yes, you don't know why he's doing it, but his character is like okay. He's a he seems like he's he's like a he, his character has that um, has that aspect that draws you to him. It's like okay, he's not just. I mean, yeah, he's a killer, but you can see he has personality. He, you, tell, you can see he got things going on in his mind and stuff. Uh, and that's what made his character stick out a, a bit more. But uh, a lot of the things that happens in the house is like they they don't do anything. Yeah, they don't react like regular people. It's like, react. okay, they came home and from um, her sister called and said there was a break-in. Okay, I, I thought it was going to be things were everywhere and stuff like that. They come home and find the table set, like, for dinner. Never and, explained why. And never explained why, and they didn't, like, just, it was like, what if it's kids? That's what the mom said. What if it's kids? No, it was it was the police that said it, and the mom agreed. Yeah. But the son called them all out on it, and I was like, but, like, that was one thing that I, I, I mentioned it, too. That both of them are experiencing things like this happening. Neither one of them is bringing it to the other person. Right. Uh, and what was another thing that? Uh, and I, let's talk about the direction too. Um, I think, I think that the uh, Matt Angel is a good director because he does have a thing for suspense. But it's the writing that kind of suffers a lot too. Because remember, every time she kept going down there to the basement, what happened? In fact, whenever one, of, whenever they went to the basement, what happened? It was always one of them. Mm-hmm. Every time something major happened, it was always one of them. Even though both of them was in the house, and who in the hell's gonna go in that dark basement by themselves? Right. And remember, I kept asking. I said, every time they liked the little pilot thing, what did they do? 
they always turn the flashlight off. And I was like, why? No reason. Uh, we forgot to mention one character, uh, Chris. That was the dude at the store. And if he hadn't turned, if he hadn't came off as kind of a creep at first, right? He w- it would have been he would have been a good character. Yeah, he would have been a better character. But like his character was like forced, like very, very forced. And I was like, gosh. I mean, why, who would invite somebody? Don't even know him. Oh well, yeah, come spend the night with us. And that thing where he went to the basement was never explained. Right. He he like looked back. At first I thought, okay, are, are they in some kind of? Because when the at the beginning when they showed the man come up, they all the show was his boots. Mm-hmm. So then you saw Chris and his boots. I'm like, is that him or is him and the dude? You know, yeah. together. They never explained why he went into the basement. Um, he left and didn't tell. Uh, the mom, and yeah, he he was just creepy all together. And it didn't even seem like it didn't even play. It didn't even seem like he left. The way it played out was like he was still there, right? But I don't. This is one of those movies that had potential to be, actually be something good, but it's just incompetence. And where was his car? Like they didn't. Yeah, he showed up and. That he yeah, there. like where you, did he you from? caught that too. Like, like I said, it's a, I'm not honestly. I want to say it's on the worst, the worst that, of this year already. You can't explain it. It's like you sit there and all you do is like you stutter to try to explain this movie. That's it's not yeah. a good. Look. I mean, like the reason for them not leaving, you could kind of understand. The reason for the tension between the two characters, you can understand. The build up around the two main characters, I could I could get behind. Uh, uh, the, yeah, the son was named Logan, and the mom's name uh, Naomi. And of course, like Madam B said, beginning of the movie, the father ended up uh, in this tragic accident, which was way out of left field. I don't know how the hell that happened. That was he was going and. It was like they was in the alley. How did that happen? It, they parked. Where they parked, and the, I guess the store was across from them, and it was like just came and just didn't even try to stop. So it was I like, mean, no, they explained why. Cause they said the guy had a heart no, attack while driving. Did have a heart attack. But it was like that was kind of left field. I even would have went. Well, you know, okay, what if all along fake his death, man, trying to get the insurance money because they were like in the hole. They yeah, were like they were really dead. in the hole. So, and then, you know, came up later. No, none of that explained none of that. Yeah, it's like they threw up a lot of, it was like a good setup for a mystery thriller. Because they had, they threw up a lot of things that could be like, okay, maybe the sister, uh, maybe the sister has something to do with it. Maybe this guy named Chris has something to do with it. Right. Maybe this, that the woman, that crazy woman. Has something to do with they they played it like a great mystery thriller and they build up and honestly the little part when things kind of jump off at towards the end is actually pretty it's pretty intense it's it's pretty like okay yeah this it's starting to pick up now because the movie is pretty slow uh, but I called it I called it remember he was walking down in that basement with that knife out yeah and I said I'm like. He's got the knife stuck out, and they keep focusing on the knife. Mm-hmm. And what was it that made me mad was they were call they weren't really calling out to each other, because when right. the mom showed up, she just all of a sudden called his name as soon as she was on him. Mm-hmm. You didn't hear her before that. It was like right, the so that was it was like the guy was like holding her mouth shut, like until he walked up on her, just like let her go. That's what it seemed like. Mm-hmm. And then you know what I'm saying it's like. Oh my Jesus! So anyway, he ends up accidentally nope. killing his mom. Uh, you weren't supposed to say that, but this is spoiler. So, so. He says, he, "I'm he, sorry." He did say spoiler. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's a this movie is a travesty. If you want to see a good home invasion movie with uh, Matt Angel in, not Matt Angel, with Dylan Minnett in it, that is recent. Go watch. Don't breathe. That one is. A hell of a better better story, 
more thrilling moments, better acting. Great movie. This movie just sucks. And mm. I mean, just yeah. During like halfway, or maybe not even halfway, there were some things that I did notice. Um, well, I just I just saw one when I was actually looking it up. Uh, he wore glasses and contacts. They did a up close. You know, a, a zoom in when he was um, washing his contacts. He's washing his contacts with water. You you don't wash your contacts with water. You wash them with the contact solution. solution. Yeah. So okay, and then uh, um, his phone. He charged his phone up, and next you thing you called it. Yeah, next thing you know, it's gone. He did not do anything. He was like he didn't tell his mom or nothing. Right. Next thing I noticed was when all that was happening, he tried to call 911. Went to his phone, talking about no SIM card detected. You can still dial 911 even if your SIM card is not in there. That's and I would stupid. give and I would give it to her because I tried to defend that. Yeah. That's like, well, maybe some phones can't. Because um. it will say that, but it will have the emergency button down there. So that is stupid. Mm-hmm. So like I said, this whole movie is just a and, and it seemed like the mom character kinda got the ass end of the stick because it seemed like she was cool at first but then she started making like dumb decisions like remember what, the part where they kind of had a falling out mm-hmm. she went to him because the picture of the family was crumbled up in the trash mm-hmm. and she was like uh, she was like you did this and I was like there based on how you know your son you know your son wouldn't have done that right and the part with the cell phone. Right, she, and the scare, talking about she, he was scaring her. She, he was doing all that. To try. Yeah. And it was like, so he dropped the cell phone down there. Really? And like the part with the cereal. He never mentioned it to her that, that cereal bowl that he had. Yeah. It was in the room. And then when he got to the living room, it was all of a sudden in the living room. So that means somebody moved it. Right. That was. And them big boots he had on, nobody heard a thing. Not unless he took them all while he was walking, but still, that was a pretty big dude. Mm-hmm. And the mom, remember the one part they were sitting down watching TV, and the mom went to the bathroom, right. and you called it, the door opened up behind them, yeah. and I didn't see it at first, but the, we wanted to saw The basement it. door did open. Uh, and she walked back through, but she didn't see the door open. Mm-hmm. When the place she came from clearly showed the door was right there. She just... She just slid on my... <clears throat> I noticed everything. Just slid or shimmied out of it. And, and like I said, it would have been a better movie if the person that wrote this gave a damn. Quit trying. What was it? You said a $100,000 budget? I, I think that's what it said. You could have did. Right you could have did a lot with a $100,000 budget in a movie like this. There is literally no reason whatsoever for this to be in a crappy movie. It could have been a really good movie. A really good movie. Uh, and like I said... I did like the performances between the two characters. And I actually did like the two characters, even though later on the decision. And even when they came to him being nearsighted, like, yeah, him, it, his... it didn't play a big part in the movie at all. It really didn't. I mean, who takes time to take out? He even took the, the dude yeah, took him out. That's what I'm saying. He, he took time to take out his contact and tell him to run. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... Uh, anyways, guys, in the comment section below, let us know what you thought about The Open House. This 2018, quote-unquote, horror thriller film directed by Matt Angel. Did you like the film? Did you not like the film? And did you agree with any of our points? Also, be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what's going on here on the Nair Chase channel. Tuesdays and Thursdays, stay tuned for movie reviews, discussions, top tens, and all types of videos that we like to talk about. And is there anything else you'd like to say before we leave on off of this? Uh, no. All right, then, guys. Without further ado, Narek and Madam B are out this piece. We'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye, love.